and welcome to JTV Sports. I am Paul on the ball. And two of the top teams for 2013 clashed in the Summer Jam over the weekend in a game that went right down to the wire. The undefeated East Rockers came up against the most improved team in the league this year, Run It Red. And Run It Red came out to prove a point and immediately began scoring three pointers and played great defense. This is me, baby. You just got great this here. Paul on the ball. Channel 55, JTV Live in the house, baby. And here comes Chino. Chino number four. Chino, what a pass. Chino goes to Nat Nat from downtown. Pulls it up and parries it from downtown. So, <laughs> Robert Red is coming with putting on that only, that only long shot. And I mean, it's been great for them. Hold on, hold on, walk his head. One little off balance there. I'll follow his car there, let's see. What you got? To the first oh, it's rejected by Galvan. Galvan slapping that ball over the there. I wish him to play the scene, yes. He slapped that one in. Ryan and I once again run past him to the bubble. Bubble has it. Bubble in from Jerry. Oh, he loses the ball in the paint. Oh, left. This might be a jab. He puts it up. No, Chino just laying down here. Chino with a quick feet. The crowd is looking for the slam. It's 8 to 2. Long pass right into the hands of Galvan. Into the place of the Not now. Crazy has it. Number five, Nat, swing it over to Javon. Javon number six, four in baseline. Oh, find himself shot, but right into Dalvan. Dalvan attack on the baseline, puts it up for me! <laughs> and with Ronnie Red putting the pressure on, the East Rockers were forced to call a timeout as coach Wasi Charleswell spoke about stopping second chances. We gotta stop their run, their run coming off a second chance. We gotta back out and pack up down low. Do not fight for the rebound, but pack up and get his rebound. Stop the second chance, and we got it. Your hands are alone, pass yes, for the passing. Wrap up my hands. It will make you fair, so there we go. It was not until deep in the second quarter that the East Rockers finally caught up to run it red when Eustace Freeman was called for a technical foul by referee Neil Thomas and Bolo Lexham went to the free throw line and did the honors and tied the ball game. <laughs> The second half became a real seesaw dogfight and both teams exchanged at the net. And it wasn't until the third quarter with five minutes left that East Rockers took their first official lead of the game by four points. 
But Run It Red came back and eventually East End ended the third quarter with a tied ball game at 59 apiece. In the fourth quarter, Run It Red came out hard and put real pressure on the East Rockers, forcing coach Wasi Charleswell to call yet another timeout. Right now we're back in the game, we have to limit the turnover and stop the second chance. No land pass no land pass. Once I grab the rebound, Breeze go for the bat. Hold up and step up. Limit the land pass. I love it, man. We're back in the game. We lose it, no game. But after the timeout, the East made a run of their own and took the lead for the second time in the game. But this time it will be for good as there was just a few minutes left in regular time. A minute and three seconds remain for you. I'm sure you went back for a little bit and you wasn't disappointed. Yes. 76 77. And the coach of East is just saying, get back and play defense. He's cool, calm, and collective. Number four, we're the ball in control. Chino, we're the ball in control. One of the little guys who want to play with my man. Now they're going to go back to Chino. Chino, in control. No one in the ball. Let's go. And with the East Rockers holding just a one-point lead with 40 seconds left in the game, Coach Wasi Charleswell called his final timeout and reminded the guys, no second chances. All five are you on the board, no second chance, no second chance. All five are on the board. Once I get a rebound, Breeze, you go for the ball and control. So the two of you all help out. Let's go. Run It Red pressed the panic button and froze with just seconds left in the game as Devon Wati, better known as Judah, put the nail in the coffin for Run It Red as the East Rockers defeated Run It Red 84 to 79. I spoke with a shell-shocked coach of Run It Red after the game and then spoke with an elated winning coach of the East Rockers, Mr. Wasi Charleswell. We get out rebounded, so I would say like coaching error. I had a big man on the bench and I didn't use him, but that's a hard last to take. 
Yeah, certainly a game like you appear to have been winning. You know, a Chino really didn't seem to get into the game. Do you think that could have been a factor? Well, basketball is a funny sport. It's an up and down sport. If one man ain't get on, the next one got to get on. So, can't depend on one man all the time. But the Charles, well, you trailed for most of the game, but came back when it was when it, when it most counted. Tell us what was the game plan there. Well, see where it is killing my team. My team, um, this last pass game, is more competitive for them. And they come in here so and they ain't getting any warm up. So it's taking them a whole half or three quarters. Only when they reach in the fourth quarter, that's when they really warm. So they're just making it hard on themselves. And what are the other team thinking? Like, they got to win. We're going undefeated. We're going undefeated. So is there any team that can beat East this year? Any team could beat us any given day, but they just got to come out and show us. Because if they just talk, it ain't happening. This team here, so just running. As you can see, the last game, them, all these teams leading us. But when they come to Wapay Cunt, we run and pie them. Because my team got a lot of heart. For JTV Sports, I am Paul on the Ball. I do be a great sport.